Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between population and sample. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. What is population? The population is the entire group that you want to conclude about. In simple terms, Population means the aggregate of all elements under study having one or more common characteristics. For example, people living in India constitutes population. The population is not confined to people only, but it may also include animals, events, objects, buildings or other units of analysis that a researcher wishes to study. It is also known as target population. The population can be defined in terms of geographical location, age, income, and many other characteristics. The population element consists of characteristics or attributes of the subjects that meet the specified set of criteria of the interest to the researcher. It can be very broad or quite narrow. Maybe you want to make inferences about the whole working population of your country or on customers of a certain company or patients with disability or students in a particular college. So, population can be of any size and the number of elements or members in a population is known as population size. That is, if there are 100 million people in India, then the population size n is 100 million. Moving on to the types of population. There are four types of population. That is finite population, infinite population, existing population and hypothetical population. When the number of elements of the population is fixed, the population is said to be finite. Whereas, when the number of units in a population is uncountable, then the population is said to be infinite. Further, the population which comprises objects that exist in reality, it is called existent population. However, a hypothetical or imaginary population is a population which exists hypothetically. Moving on to sample. The sample is a part of population chosen at random for participation in the study. These are subsets taken from a population for the purpose of study. The sample so selected should be such that it represents the population in all its characteristics and it should be free from bias to produce a miniature cross-section. The sample observations are used to make generalizations about the population. A true representative sample consists of similar elements. These are called sampling elements. The term representative means the sample subjects are not selected haphazardly but deliberately so that every element in the population has an equal chance of being selected for the study. The process of selecting respondents is called sampling. The units under study are called sampling units and the total number of units in a sample is called sample size. While conducting statistical testing, samples are mainly used when the sample size is too large to include all the members of the population under study. Moving on to the difference between population and sample. Meaning, population refers to the collection of elements possessing common characteristics comprise the universe. On the contrary, sample means a subgroup of the members of population chosen for participation in the study. Next, measure. A parameter is a number describing a whole population that is population mean. As against, a statistic is a number describing a sample, that is, sample mean. Next, what is it? A population is a complete set, that is, all members of a particular group. Whereas, a sample is a subset of the entire population, that is, only a handful of items of the population are included in a sample, that represents the entire population. Next, data collection. When information is collected from all units of population, the process is known as census or complete enumeration. Conversely, the sample survey is conducted to gather information from the sample using the sampling method. Next, reports. In the case of population, reports are true representation of opinion. In contrast, in the case of sample, the reports have a margin of error and confidence interval. Next, focus. With population, the focus is to identify the characteristics of the elements, whereas in the case of sample, the focus is on generalizing the characteristics of the population 
from which the sample came from. Next example. In the cow data set, the population is cows of the same breed on a dairy farm, whereas the sample is 50 cows. So friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope the difference between population and sample is clear to you now. However, if you want to study the topic further in detail, you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com. Here you can find a detailed comparison of population and sample along with their definitions. Links are also provided in the description box below. So guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbi signing off.